A traveling memorial to honor fallen police officers across the country has made its way to Connecticut. It honors those who lost their lives in the line of duty in the years 2022 and 2023, including our fallen officers from the Bristol, New Haven, and Hartford Police Departments. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts was there for the moment the memorial stopped in Bristol. The end of watch ride to remember rolling memorial made its way through Connecticut today. This is our fourth na nationwide tour. The memorial that honors the lives of fallen law enforcement officers from 2022 and 2023 first made a stop in Bristol, a community still reeling from the loss of Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey, who were shot and killed in an ambush at a home in October of 2022. Flowers mark their photos on the memorial. The Bristol community has always been a supporter of the police. The Department, uh, October 12th um, really demonstrated that. Chief Mark Morella was among those in the department welcoming the memorial to Bristol. Allison McCarter and Damian Irvin led the group on their motorcycles. They said the idea came about by a man named J.C. Shaw from the nonprofit Beyond the Call of Duty. Their first ride was in 2020. He had lost a couple pretty important people in his life in the line of du duty. And what he wanted to do was to find a way to keep expanding this bubble of support for these these families and these officers and this community. This rolling memorial has stopped all over the country so far, places like Georgia, North Carolina, and after this stop here in Connecticut, they'll head to New York and Pennsylvania. We're on day 39 out of 73. We're about 12,000 miles in to 23,000 miles total. She said everywhere they go, they turn heads. We are literally stopped at every gas station, hotel, parking lot, at stop signs. Uh, and even driving down the highway, people will go to pass us and they'll see what's on the memorial and they'll pace us for a little bit. And that's what they set out every day to do keep these men and women's life and legacies alive. It's an incredible thing to see so many people across the nation actually come together and, and show their respect. In Bristol, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News.